Hello and welcome back to another How To Django tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and take a look at um, the int word and int comma uh, template tags in Django. So what the int word, I-N-T-W-O-R-D does, um, basically what this one will do is if we have a integer over a million, it will go ahead and return that number as 1.0. Uh, million like that or if it's 1.1 million like that so it makes your site look very sophisticated all right and everybody will pat you on the back and you're just using the template tag anyhow the other one we're gonna look at is the ink comma uh, int c o m m a uh, uh, template tag as well and what this one does is it adds a comment every third uh, character. So if we had 700,000, so if we had 700,000 like this, it would comma zero, zero, Whoop, zero, like that. So it looks like that. So another elegant feature to add to your Django powered uh, web app. All right. So we're going to show you how to do that. But what we're going to do with ours is we're going to combine them together. So if we're below a million, we're going to go ahead and use int comma. And if we're above a million, we're going to go ahead and use int word. All right. So let's take a look at this. This is on our um, tutorial um, test app that we use to demonstrate. So I can't really show you what we did with Django or uh, with uh, Master Code Online. Man, I'm getting losing my mind today. Master Code Online, we have it. Uh, we're using it throughout the site on our views. So when our views hit 1 million, which would be awesome, uh, when we hit that, it's going to go ahead and convert to int word. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Um, first thing first, we need to bring in the Django humanize uh, package. So we're going to import that into our installed app. So we'll go ahead and create a string. And we're going to say django.contrib.humanize like that all right next thing we want to do is uh we'll go into our views and since i really don't have views set up here and that's what we're going to simulate we're tracking here we're just going to go ahead and add a key to our context here views and we're going to add uh an integer of one million all right so we got one million views all right so if you're wondering what's going on here if you're not aware this is the key that we call in the template and this is the value that we're passing to that template. All right, so in post detail, uh, first things first, we need to load the humanize uh, template tags into this template so we can use them. Uh, if you're if you're extending a template, uh, for example, uh, extends base.html, well, you gotta put this uh, load below the extends. Extends always gotta be on top, okay? So we'll go ahead and since I'm not extending, we'll just go ahead and load load humanize there you go and uh let's go down here and we'll go ahead and put this in some p tags so it's separated a little bit uh we'll go ahead and do um first off let's just go ahead and show what they would look like so we're going to go ahead and do uh views uh i think i call it views so i hope so and a pipe symbol and then uh int word all right so this is going to be the one that returns the 1.0 million and so on and then we'll put a space in here and we'll do the same thing for views and the pipe symbol and we'll go ahead and do a comma like that all right let's go ahead and refresh our browser and see what happens hopefully it works let's see let's see as my and by the way i'm getting a new imac next week so the speed on these uh, tutorials should be faster. All right, so there we go. We got our 1.0 million, and we also got our 1 million with two commas in there. So that's pretty cool, right? But we don't want to show it twice, right? We, we don't want our users to say, oh, look, they did 1.0 million, and then they got another million. That's pretty lame, right? So let's go ahead and fix this up so it all works out perfectly good. So we'll go ahead and put an if statement in here. So it would be if views is greater than um nine 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 hundred ninety nine thousand we're gonna go ahead and um use views int word otherwise if it's not whoa i need to add my percent symbol there and then if not we're gonna use an else statement here else 
we're going to go ahead and show our ink comma if it's not. So like that, and then views ink comma, and then in here, we're going to go ahead and end the if. So we don't get a warning that we did not end the if. All right, let's go ahead and refresh and see what happens. Hopefully it looks all sweet and it works. 1.0 million, okay, that works. But we should test it a little bit more here. Let's go ahead and lower this to uh, 900. Thousand. So we'll just take away the 10 there and make that 9. And we'll go back in and refresh. And this should all look pretty and sweet once my server decides to wake up. Server, you are being replaced. All right. Come on. Whoa. I screwed something up. But it worked. There's an extra uh, curly brace in there somewhere. Let's see what all you... Where is the curly brace? Anybody? Oh, there it is. All right, so there you go. And that's how it should work and how it should look. If you have any questions, head over to mastercode.online. Ask us a question there. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a good day.